Looking crispy, clean, wow. You're out. Yep. Nice. Me, I just got to shape up and, you know, just lined up the beard a little bit. I, I was tempted to tell him to, to make it a wrong... A wrong what? A wrong something. You mean mess up my beard? Yeah. <laughs> Good morning, Money Fam. What's poppin'? I'm here with Papa Money, and we're about to go get some haircuts at our barbershop. How you feeling, Dad? Feeling How you? good? Yeah, feeling good? I see you're walking. It's amazing. Guys, if you don't know, my dad has always suffered from asthma and COPD, and late in the years, it has affected his mobility. But he's been doing better, and I got him doing exercises. Slowly but surely, he's gonna be running laps around here. Baby, life is a cycle, and what's thrown away, I won't recycle. Stay out of my life, I don't want you near me. But if I fuck you one more time, it's just a reminisce. I'm tired of your lies. I got plenty of women that love to hit on me. Nothing lasts forever, everything expires. You in the past, you gon' stay there. Ain't no looking back, no. Go to hell, nobody even needs you. I don't give a fuck if I sound cool. Barbershop in Corona Queens. This is the go-to spot if you need a cut in Queens, not just Queens, in all of New York. And this is our barber, Daniel the Barber. That's my man right here. Uh, back in about 10 years ago, I used to have long hair down on my back. And when I finally chopped it off, this is the man that did it. And I've been rocking with him ever since. Money fam, we just got out the barbers. Look at dad's fresh cut. How you feel, dad? Okay. Yeah, looking yeah. good. Looking crispy, clean, wow. You're out. Yep. Nice. Me, I just got to shape up and, you know, just lined up the beard a little bit. So... Well, I, I was tempted to tell him to, to you know, make it a wrong... A wrong what? A wrong something. You mean mess up my beard? Yeah. Why? Because, uh, you know, you know, you don't have the most beautiful beard. What? My beard is my beard is fleeky. What are you talking about? This is the one thing that I can do is go if I find the way. No, 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 no. See, uh, we can't go to the barbers together anymore. I feel like you're gonna do something sneaky. <laughs> no, no, no. Anyway, I'm feeling kind of hungry. You hungry? I'm not too hungry. Yeah, you, you'll get hungry. How about we go to our favorite Cuban spot? Cuban restaurant. Let's go to Rincón Criollo. Okay. I feel like getting some some pork chops. Okay. Sarandonga y no vamos a comer. Sarandonga en el alto del puerto. Sarandonga, cuñame con bacalao. Sarandonga, que mañana es domingo. Sarandonga, chiviri con chiviri. Sarandonga, oh, yo lo cantar. Sarandonga, yo no como la judía. ¿Por qué? Porque tiene cuatro dientes. Así no. Yo no como la judía. ¿Por qué? Porque tiene cuatro dientes. Así no. Y después dice la gente. ¿Qué cosa? Primo come bobería. All right, money fam, so we're here. I'm here with dad at the, our favorite Cuban restaurant. My parents have been coming here for years. I mean, way before I moved even more. Matter of fact, my first time coming here was in my mom's room. You guys, these are the codfish fritters. They're really good. They're authentic to Cuban cuisine. And they're like the perfect appetizers. And guys, these are by far my favorite Cuban appetizers. These are called, called croqueta de jamón, which are ham croquettes. These are the, oh my god, these are so delicious. Guys, look at this. 
So these are the smoked pork chops. They're huge. And I got moro, which is uh, rice and beans and black beans cooked together. Dad's got the same thing. He's already digging in. And he's having his with fried green plantains. Or what we call tostones. That's how they dig in. Cuando yo tenía dinero, que me llamaban Don Tomás, así no. Ahora como no tengo, me llaman Tomás nada más y voy bien. ¿A qué mañana es domingo? Sarandonga, chiviri, chiviri, sarandonga, oye lo cantar, sarandonga, ay, 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 sarandonga, sarandonga. So guys, we're back home, and uh, we're just lounging in the living room. We're watching baseball, and we just got home in time to catch the Kentucky Derby race. Uh, the actual race is about in an hour, but we're catching the preliminaries. You see right there. Got that over there, relaxing, playing with Princess. Hey, baby. So I'm gonna watch the race, relax a bit, because I got it. I do have to do laundry later. I really don't want to. I hate doing laundry, but you have to do it. So, so money fam, I'm gonna be getting out of here soon. Uh, just gonna go watch the Triple G fight with my dad, and uh, shout out time. So shout out goes to Vam Girl 89. Uh, she commented on the last video with the hashtag Money Fam. So shout out to Vam Girl 89. Thanks for the love and the support. I appreciate you guys once again if you like the video give it a thumbs up make sure you subscribe if you haven't already and click the little bell and also I wanted to give you an update uh, my grandpa is doing much better he got all the color back in his face uh, he's doing good so guys I'm gonna be heading out and I'll see you in the next one <laughs> Pero baby, si te busco